hey beloved guys are you welcome back to my channel trust you guys are doing well happy new year yeah this is the first video this year and <laughs> so many of you have called me where have you been i had a professional exam to write and i'm super grateful i'm done with that and it's business again on youtube so we're kicking off this year with this body scrub an emulsified creamy soapy body scrub just call it any name that you that defines it to you okay we'll be using two types of surfactant here we'll be using sci which is sodium cocoa isotonate and um this surfactant it's an anionic surfactant that it's mild on the skin and the reason why i love this is because you can combine it with non-ionic and um, atmospheric surfactant so this it's a super um good so if you don't have sci you can go for smc smc is also good okay now let me educate you guys before you go all like whoop this is not the type that i saw on zarina's channel sci has three major types that i've come across with we have the one that looks like rice noodles which is the one i'm working with today we have one that look that comes in powdery form and we also have another one that comes in petal form now that one that comes in petal form i really don't like to work with that because it's pretty difficult but if you if you if that's what you can find in your region it's okay it will still give you the same consistency but the only thing you want to you might want to do is to blend it out okay but when you're doing that when you're trying to blend it out do well to wear nose marks because that can choke as in it's highly i don't know when it gets to your throat you can just cough out like really you know really crazy so what i'm doing right now is to measure out my chlorotex our chlorotex here is going to be our emulsifier that will bind water oil you know and everything all together now there are two types of chlorotex we have chlorotis that comes in liquid form and we have the one in powder form. The one I have is in powder form and hence this process. If you have the type that is in liquid form, you might not have to go through this process. The only thing you can do is to have like a face. And um, if it, now, if you're working with a liquid one, let me tell you what you do. If you're working with a liquid one, then your process will be slightly different from mine. What you will do is to incorporate your SCI, your cocoa betaine, your solvent, which is your water, your hydrosol, you know, incorporate it in a beaker. Now you can take out a little bit of water to dissolve your actives. You're working with um, whitening actives, okay? You take out a little bit of water to dissolve your actives. But because mine, it's a powder form, so I did a little bit, I did something, I have to go through another process, okay? So because I wasn't patient enough, I wanted everything to just go pretty fast. I added my hydrosol to um, the beaker where I have my SCI to get it all, you know, to quicken it up. And this took, even at that, took about an hour, 35 minutes to get it to dissolve. And once that was done, I, I added my pentanone to my water face okay which if i was working with a liquid um chlorotex i would just have added all this in just in one beaker get the first beaker to you know dissolve you know get itself all work to it and i would turn out you know turn in the the cold face into it but because i have it you know the powder one hence this process so if you look at that beaker, you will see that everything is all mashed up and it's all, you know, we have a paste kind of consistency. So what I did was to add my silk peptide, my liquorice and my niacinamide in the water face, okay? And at this point, guys, my my crop pot is turned off and everything has, you know, cooled down to about um, 38 degrees. So I'm adding in my willows back here. Wow, willow's back is amazing. If you're looking to treat a skin that has a whole lot of, you know, skin issues, then you want to incorporate um, willow's back. So I went in and added my glycerin, my IPM, and my my emollient, which is my whole oil. I'm combining these two phase together. 
now guys if you are working with a larger badge you might want to use a stick blender or if you can do the mixture with your you know your spatula or your stick you know your turning stick then it's also good you can do that and at this phase we have something looking like kind of you know like a shower gel honestly speaking this is another process you can use in making shower gel a thick shower gel if you're looking out to make a shower gel you can go through this process and you have you know a very thick consistency and at this stage if you want to turn it to a shower gel you can just go ahead and do it and i'm just illustrating to you guys to see that this really lathers and it cleans off the skin super good and leaves your skin so moist and you know tender it leaves it very soft so if you're looking to make a shower gel at this point you can just go ahead to add your color or your paralyzer you know change the color if you want preserve it and you just bottle it if you're looking out to do a shower gel but we're looking to do what um a body scrub and hence i use my chlorotis at five percent but if you're looking to do probably like a facial shower a facial um scrub that will be more liquidy you know like have sort of a running consistency you might just reduce the amount of um you know your chlorotex okay and have um more running consistency I, I don't know if you guys understand what i mean so do well to also follow us on all our social media platform because we'll be doing a whole lot of write-ups you know going forward and uh, there are some things i might just talk on my page you know write do a write-up on my page and i might not have the time to come and do the same thing on youtube i might just do a write-up and bring such ingredients here on youtube and make a video so you want to follow us on all these platforms to get you know updates okay so i added my synthetic granules in here you can add any granule of your choice you can decide to go with your chai seed your apricot seed your jojoba seed your lofa seed you know any kind of granules that you might um that is at your disposal is what you should use here uh some actually use sugar salt is not an option especially for dry skin type okay let me know what you feel about this scrub have you tried something similar to this or you're looking out to try something like this and you don't know how to go about it let me know in my comment section what you feel about this whole process if you've tried something that is similar to this what you you know what it came out like let me know in my comment section. I've had people try this scrub and they tell me, Zarina, this scrub is all in one. I don't even have to use my soap. So this is how we come to the end of this um, video. And you guys can see how lovely this scrub looks like. Until I come your way again, I remain your favorite girl, Zarina. Keep that glow pumping. I love you guys to my bone marrow. Bye, guys.